welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a TJ Maxx haul. As I'm sure you probably know because it was in the title of the video. Right. So I am going to be doing a TJ Maxx haul. I went to TJ Maxx today. Spent way too much money, as we all do when we go to TJ Maxx. Um, yeah, so I got some new workout shirts, I got some shoes, I got some candles. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of hop in. I was like thinking to myself, hmm, this would be a great video because I bought a lot of crap. So I figured I would just share it with you guys. Plus, I'm all about the inexpensive fitness wear. So TJ Maxx is definitely a place to go. It's just, you have to be patient. So let me stop babbling because I always do that. You guys know this by now if you've been here on my channel. So let me just go ahead and get in. I'm just going to grab the first bag, which is right here. The first item is so exciting. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for the first item? Socks. Everybody needs socks. And these are the thin socks. And I literally, I am the, I'm the queen of my socks disappear in the dryer or the washer. Happens every single time. So I literally have two pairs of these kinds of socks. The really, really thin ones. Because I like to wear those with my Uggs because my Uggs are thicker. I cannot do the whole no sock thing. I know that that's what you're supposed to do. I cannot get on that, that train, so I'm not on it. So I get these thin socks because that's what I need. So, yeah, that's what that is. And then next I got some more of the no-show um, ones. And these actually have, like, a rubber. Can you guys see that shininess right there? It's like a rubber back so that they don't fall off because Lord knows they always fall off. Like, I put them on and they're halfway down my foot by the time I walk out the front door. So now, because of that, these are the abs anti or Alan, Alan Schwartz anti-slip heel. They look like this in case you want to go pick them up. They're $5.99. So are the other ones are $5.99. So yeah, um, my most exciting thing that I picked up was these shoes. So these shoes I actually found two weeks ago when I went to TJ Maxx, a different TJ Maxx in a different county near me. Um, I went to that TJ Maxx and I found these shoes, but they were in an eight and a half. And I wear between a nine and 10 in shoes, just depending. Um, and I saw these and I was like, you know, when you find a really cute pair of shoes, like super cute pair of shoes and you put them on and you're like, okay, these aren't exactly my size, but I can make it work. I can make it work. I think I'm gonna buy them and I'm gonna make it work. Well, I contemplated that for a few minutes and then I was like, seriously, Samantha, get over yourself. Like, you're gonna wear these out somewhere and you're gonna be like griping and complaining because your feet hurt and you have blisters and all kinds of other stuff. So I put them aside and I was like, okay, not today. Well, I went to the one in another town today and they had them in a nine in my size. And these are, let me just look at these. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed. I'm so happy I got these. So these are the Steve Madden, just a pair of flats. So I know like their black ones with the um like checkered quilted type feel are really popular right now. But these I'm like obsessed with. So I'm going to try and show you guys as best I can. So as you can see, there's like a detail here. This is like stretchy. Like it's seamless basically. Like there's no seams. It has the little Steve Madden thing on the back. That's what the inside looks like, but like literally it's so flexible, so stretchy. I'm literally obsessed. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. I can't wait to wear them. I'm probably going to wear them on Monday. And they even have like, as you can kind of tell here, it's a like a stretchy material a little bit. So I'm really excited about these. Super excited. They had them in olive green, which... Those of you who don't know me that well, olive green is my color. Oh my gosh. I love olive green. And I love this like mauve blush type pink. It's so pretty. And even on fair skin like myself, it, it looks it looks good. So I can't wait to wear this. The one thing I do think that's kind of weird is like the soles are like velvet. It's kind of weird, but whatever. So that's that piece. And then in my second bag, I have a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch, I got like 
three or four workout shirts and a sports bra. So I really enjoy TJ Maxx for their inexpensive pricing. Most of their tops are $10 for workouts. Sometimes they are a little bit more expensive depending on the brand, but I really enjoy their workout clothes. Now back a few months, like maybe a month or so ago, I went to Old Navy and I had a inexpensive workout haul from them. I'll link that video or put a card for it um, if you guys want to check that out. And I believe I got like two, two or three, maybe four shirts from them. And unfortunately, two of the shirts, no, I think I got four. Two of the tank tops I got shrunk. One of them did not, like in my my length area, so I'm really tall, I'm 5'9", and in my waist, it, it's just not as long, so I can't wear them, which totally sucks, and then the one shirt, it, it didn't wash well, so um, yeah, but I, I, like, I've never had a problem with them drying before, so I don't know if it was just a fluke on those, like I've, I have so many old navy clothes, it's stupid, so I'm not gonna state not to go out and buy them, so yeah. I just wanted to put that out there. So I went to TJ Maxx looking for just strictly tops because I have enough pants. And tops that I were, was wearing before no longer fit me. So anyways, let me not babble your life away about my problems. So the first bra that I got is in a size medium and it's a jockey sports bra and it looks like this. I have to have the padding because you girl ain't got no boobies. So I like to feel like I got a little something at the gym. So I get like the little padding not anything but whatever so this is what the sports bra looks like and this was $12.99 I just like it it's really simple I don't really go too insane with my sports bras because I'm not at the state in my fitness journey where I'm comfortable enough to just wear leggings and a sports bra it's not me yet I hope to get there one day but not today so I got that sports bra just one um, and then I got this really cute top I didn't think that I was going to like this because as I'm getting smaller, obviously my shirts are getting a little bit more fitted and it, it's been kind of a weirdly accepting thing for me. So to see myself looking okay in a more fitted workout shirt is kind of weird for me. Um, so that's taken some getting used to. So like I saw this top on the rack it's got a built-in padded sports bra and it's got this back and then this is the front it sits about like hip level um and so this was $16.99 this one was a little bit more expensive who is this by um I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that so we'll just leave that here for you guys to pronounce it yourself <laughs> so this is the top that I got and I got it in gray as I'm sure you could probably tell but I got it and I was like, I'm sure I'm going to hate this because it's a more fitted top. Oh my gosh, it's so flattering. Like it sits away from the skin a little bit. It doesn't, it's not like super tight. Um, and I got this in a medium, I believe. Let me check. Maybe it's a large. No, it's a medium. So I got this in a medium. So I'm really excited for that. Um, then I got two of the same type of shirts from Reebok and they're both in smalls which really surprised me like I had a pat on my back proud moment when I put these on in the dressing room and they were a small but they're kind of a big small like if you're normally a medium I feel like you can wear this small so this is what it looks like it's just a really basic tank top for the gym what I like about it though is it has this like split detail here and it's longer in the back so it kind of covers like half of your butt if not all of it and then it's shorter in the front so it looks better and it's got like this slit on the side so it kind of sits higher up on the waist and then it comes down if you guys can kind of see like right there so i really enjoy that so i got it in this gray color it's like heathered gray if you will and then i also got the same exact shirt but in purple give a little color to my life you know so i got it in purple and these were both 10 no 9.99 originally I guess 16 and then the last piece that I got is probably my favorite I loved this this was again one of those shirts that I looked at it on the rack I was like it's probably going to be too fitted I'm probably not going to like it but we'll give it a go anyways so I did just that and I loved it I did go up in a size though because I didn't like 
I tried on the medium and the medium fit me okay, but it was just a little bit too tight for my liking at the very moment. I just knew that my fat would bulge out at, well not my fat, like my ex excess skin if you will, I don't know. Because my stomach isn't that toned, I knew that something would bulge out at some point and I just wasn't okay with that. So I went ahead and got it in a large and this is by 90 degree and I really like them. They have a really cute pants, so this is what the brand looks like and this is a like mesh top like it's completely see-through here and here and it sits at the waist and it's like this pretty blue color it's got like a racer back on the back but yeah this was the top that I got as well and I just really like it I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear that to go to the gym with my mom on Saturday because I'm gonna show my mom a couple things at the gym She's trying to get fit for, everybody's trying to get fit for my wedding. I'm trying to get fit for my wedding. My mother-in-law is trying to get fit for my wedding. My fiance is trying to get fit for our wedding. And then my mom is trying to get fit for my wedding. Everybody's trying to get fit for the wedding. I'm like, okay, everybody's just going to be looking hot fire, you know? Okay, so then the next piece that I got are these candles over here. I got way more than the three over here, but I gave three to my mother-in-law and then two are downstairs in the basement for my fiance because they're kind of more manly smells but the first one that I got this is the brand DW home and they look like that this look I know it's hard to see because of the white and the pink but um these are supposed to be really good candles I've followed them on Instagram for a long time and I always wanted to get them but they're literally $20 they're like Yankee candle status and I don't have that kind of money for candles. So I was at TJ Maxx today and saw that they carry them. And I was like, oh my God, because this was literally $7 and it smells amazing. So this is, I really wish there was smell vision but there's not, I'm sorry guys. This I got in um, peony petals. I'm sure as you guys could probably see, maybe, maybe not. Peony petals. I am obsessed with peonies, so I cannot wait to burn this. Then the next one that I got is more of a Naturals. This is the DW Naturals. This is teak wood and white sage and it includes essential oils. So it looks like this. It's got a cute little wooden top on it. This is like very manly if you will. Not manly but it's musky. It's not floral. It's not fruity. It's not sweet. It's very like musky and I really like that. I'm I'm not a big musky person but I'm becoming one as I'm getting older. I'm more okay with it if that makes sense. Like I lean towards that sometimes a little bit more depending what mood I'm in. So I got this just because my fiance is not really all into like the super fruity florally things you know. And then because I have recently become obsessed with eucalyptus I got the cooling eucalyptus one. So not only do I really like the fact that this is a eucalyptus candle, but I mean, the color is amazing. And it, oh my God, it just smells so good. So good. I'm obsessed with it. This is gonna be lit as soon as I get off this video and I'm gonna go on my bed and watch Game of Thrones. That's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, that is pretty much that I, all that I got today at TJ Maxx. I just kind of wanted to hop on here and share it with you guys. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.